And our Friday fanatic is Tom Gamble. Hey, Tom, good morning. Sally, how are you today? It looks like it feels great out there now. The question is, will it later? Exactly. Yeah, we definitely have to talk weather today uh, because it is going to affect things even to what degree, I guess, is the question. And we're going to get to that in a second. Um, First, let's real quick recap last Friday's game in the Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown. That game was Colerain and Hamilton, right? That is correct. Friday, Colerain and Hamilton. Colerain, which, you know, lost the first two games of the year, but this is Colerain and they're back and they shut down Hamilton. So now here's what this sets up. Colerain's Got one loss in the league, so too does Princeton, but it's the Lakota East, Lakota West. West, undefeated in the league. They're at Colerain tonight, so that's a huge game. East against Fairfield tonight. If they both win, next week it's the annual East-West Lakota game. This will be the first time they will both be undefeated and playing for the outright league championship. That's a big game anyway in the Lakota local schools. This one next week could be huge, but again, Anything and everything that is Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown at X-Town Showdown. Tonight we go south of the Ohio River to the Commonwealth. A great district game. Dixie Heights hosting Ryle 6A. Last year they split. Ryle won in the regular season. Dixie in the postseason should be another good one tonight. Kickoff, 7 o'clock at Dixie Heights. Yeah, now speaking of kickoff at 7 well, o'clock, weather yeah, permitting. Right. <laughs> that's Hopefully what... kickoff, yes. Yeah. Well, Sally, here's the problem with, with football, and, and, and if you're, I'm glad I'm not an athletic director tonight because it's not easy because do you go with the forecast, and I would tell you I would never do that because you know the inaccuracy sometimes, sure. but you're trying to make the best call. You don't. It's not the rain. Rain sucks if you're sitting out in it, but you can play through rain. It's the lightning and thunderstorms, and that's the challenge because every time there's a strike of lightning, it's a 30-minute delay from when you last saw the strike before anybody can even come back to the field. So you got to evacuate the stadium. Do you want a ton of delays? It's not like baseball. You only have really one day to make this game up. That's tomorrow, but guess what you have tomorrow morning? JV football, cross-country invitationals, a lot of homecomings and senior night tonight. So it's a very difficult decision for ADs. My guess is they're going to try to get the game in tonight. Hopefully weather will be printing. I've watched Rico, and, and she says – We'll hold her accountable, right? Yes. She says <laughs> rain after eight or nine. So, you can, again, you can get by the rain. It's just leading up to that, how many lightning strikes, how much storm issues will you have? Exactly, yeah. She, what she was telling me was basically the, the chance for storms more in the afternoon between three, but up until about nine. So, And she said it hey, really just – issue. Exactly, and it just kind of depends on how the afternoon plays out. So she's going to keep an eye on things, and I guess that's the best thing to, to tell people is just to you know, keep – an eye on the weather forecast throughout the day because you know what they say yeah keep an eye in the sky right so <laughs> spend your day looking up and just see what happens and move on from there there's nothing you can do about it so just adjust accordingly and go on with your life <laughs> i mean life, what are you gonna do right? life lessons of tom gamble yes i love there it you go um well yeah. in, in addition to those games we just talked about what other games are going on this weekend yeah well there's some great games as always and there's too many to recount but i'll give you just a couple i mentioned that east west it could be setting up um kings has a one game lead over anderson in the ecc so that'll be interesting tonight uh Basically, it's Turpin. They're a factor in it, too. So that league, there's too many. I can't keep track of all these leagues, Sally. There's too many of them. I'm yeah. kidding. But tonight, like, Edgewood plays Ross. They're both 3-0 and in the Southwest Ohio Conference. You've got Wyoming heading toward another unbeaten season. Now, it, it's, it's, I think, important to point out, tonight is the last regular season game for all your listeners in Southeast Indiana. Indiana's done. They start playoffs next week. Ohio has Week 9 tonight. Week 10, final week of regular season. Next week, then playoffs. Kentucky has one extra week, so they'll figure all that out. So there are three neighboring states. They all do something different with the playoffs. But, yeah, this is the crunch time when you're trying to play your best football to go into the postseason, and some of the leagues are coming down to big games. Definitely. Well, uh, real quick, hey, before I let you go, we need to talk about – you were telling me about this kid, um, St. X. They have, like, this amazing quarterback. What's going on with him right now? Well, he's having a pretty good year. It's senior Brogan McKay. And these statistics are incredible. He's completed 71% of his passes for over 1,700 yards. He's thrown 21 touchdowns, and he has yet to throw an interception. I mean, at any level of football, when you've played eight games against the type of schedule that St. X has and you haven't thrown an interception – Pretty impressive. This weekend, tomorrow, they're up in Northeast Ohio taking on Cleveland St. Ignatius. If you were to make it through, we'll have to do my, have to do my research, Sally. If he makes it through the season without an interception, 
he's got to be one of the few playing at that level to ever do that. Yeah, that is beyond impressive. So uh, we'll right. have to keep an eye on yeah. him. Um, and real fast, Bengals this weekend, um, they're in Detroit, right, on Sunday? Yep, the 0-5 Lions, they're horrendous, but they've been competitive. This is one where the Bengals, they need to win two of the next three on the road. But before that, tomorrow, you see at home against Central Florida, you see at number three of the AP poll. They're in the college football playoff, essentially, would be right now. So they just have to take care of business and see where it falls in the end. But pretty exciting. I mean, Friday night high school, Saturday UC, and how about Kentucky? They're at Georgia. They're undefeated. That's a huge game, too, and then the Bengals on Sunday. So a big football weekend, and I understand it's finally going to feel like football weather. Definitely, yeah. We just got to worry about storms tonight or not, but tomorrow Rico's saying we'll, we probably will spend most of the day in the 50s. I'm looking forward to it. Awesome. Bring it on. Bring Absolutely. out the hoodie and away. shorts and a hoodie. I was going to say, go. shorts and a hoodie. Oh, yeah. It is the Tom Gamble uniform, after all. All right, well, Got we it. will talk to you next weekend uh, for another round of Friday Fanatic. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and stay dry. All right, Karen, you do the same. Take care. Will do. That's our Friday Fanatic, Tom Gamble with the Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown. This is Mornings with Karen on Cat Country 94.1.